Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we're going to talk about updating NPCAP, which a lot of people um, have seen, but you might not be aware why or how Wireshark uses that and why I'm going to mention that in today's video. So what am I talking about? So as of Wireshark 3.0 for Windows, WinPCAP has been replaced with NPCAP, right? Now here's the thing. Number one, Please make sure that when PCAP is not on your system if you don't need it. Oh, we got a little typo there, of course, my daily typo. So please make sure if when PCAP is not used, you get rid of that. And as far as NPCAP goes, it's automatically installed, or if you do an upgrade to 3, it automatically upgrades it as well. But NPCAP is from nmap.org, not wireshark.org. So it's important to understand a separate piece of software. Um, I, I do not believe, I've not found any information to back this up, that NPCAP will automatically update. I believe whenever Wireshark puts out an update, it'll probably check to see if NPCAP is current. But in the meantime, um, I had a problem where somebody was trying to do a capture, and it just wasn't working out. It, I either couldn't see the adapters, or it starts capturing and stops. It was just a real goofy thing, and we couldn't figure it out. So just out of sheer desperation, I went to nmap.org and found there was a more current version and just upgraded nmap.org. Boom, everything worked great. So I'm not saying everybody's going to have a problem, but in this case, it helped me out. thought I would share what I found. So to find out what version of MPCAP you do have, I went under Programs, Uninstall, Change a Program, and I could see it says nmap.99-r9 mmap project with an install date of 4-2-2019. And the version um, was not the same as what was on the site. It was 992. Now, I don't know if this is an OEM version or whatever, but the point is, it was different. And I thought, well, what the heck, I got nothing to lose. So what I did was, I got it, replaced it, and guess what? Now, it's 992 and it was 99-R. It's the same, um, it says install date, right? That's obviously today's date, not the actual date on the NPCAP installer. So don't get thrown by that. So that's it. That's all they did. You went to NPCAP, we got it, replaced it, boom, everything worked great. Now moving forward, I don't know how often Wireshark is going to check that, but if you do have any issues capturing or finding your adapters, you might want to either reinstall NPCAP or make sure you have the current version of it. Again, the URL is httpsnmap.org slash NPCAP. If you just type NPCAP and you Google it, it'll pop up under nmap.org, and there you go. You should be fine. Have a good day. Bye for now.